Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and we are here with Technique Tuesday number 86. So today we are going to be diving into some of the thin cuts that have been selling out really, really fast from yeah. Close to My Heart. So you're about to see why. So these are the semi-new stitched thin cuts that we have. I know we've shown you some of the hearts and the stars and circles and stuff like that in the past. Uh, they were they, Those mostly go with the... We've used them for the um, shaker card windows mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But these have been some very, 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 very popular thin cuts that keep selling out. So they are currently back in stock. But if you want them, I would get them ASAP because they keep selling out. But this is just a bunch of different shapes that have that really cute stitching around them. So these are the quilted shapes, stitched quilted shapes. And then they have these as well, which are our stitched square frames. So these are actually going to be frames around your photos. So you can put them around any kind of photos or just to have some designs on your pages. So we're going to show you just how each of these look. And then we will expand them more on Throw It Together Thursday. So. We also have this one as well. This is the stitched rectangle frames. So this is better for photos. This one's more for it could be for square photos or it could be for a stitched quilt that we will also be showing you so let's start with this one once again so for this one I wanted to actually take the smallest one uh, yeah we'll take smallest or the medium one what do you think pick one medium okay so we'll go with medium <laughs> so for this one we're actually I'm just gonna drop everything um, so this one, it would also, it would be good for a three by three photo or a two by two photo <clears throat> to go inside of it or anything like that. It is a three by three. It'll cut it off a little bit. This is a three by four, but you can also make backgrounds with this very easily. So what I'm going to do quickly is I have some old paper here. Got some of our older, older cardstock and going to uh, this one doesn't really remind me of stitching not this one ariana does so if you wanted to make a quilted background pinch that out so you can actually see I hope you can see all these little stitching around the edges. That's going to give you your quilted look. And then what you also get with it is you get this as well. So you get an outside layer that also has the stitch on it. So you could actually put them together, keep them like this, or put like a different color around it with quilting. But if we cut another one out, I'm gonna flip it over. So this one, we did the exact same pattern on the up opposite side because the thin cut, remember, does cut down. So if that bothers you, keep flipping them. But you could make a quilted pattern on a background like this. You quilters out there would probably know this better than I did. I do. But look how cool that looks. So you can actually do a whole entire piece of paper like that. So maybe we'll do a layout. That would be awesome. On Throw It Together Thursday. And using the other smaller pieces would be good also because you could put them inside those squares. Yes. So that's just, you know, a sample of something. And I unfortunately don't have any two of my two square, two by two things right here right now. But a two by two would also fit in that. And that would be a really cute mm -hmm. page. So... Just something to think about with these. These are the squares. You can also make bigger, bigger ones. You could do really tiny ones across the whole page. You could do it on a card as well. But that's what the, the stitched squares are. And remember, always keep them on their magnetic sheets. So next we have our rectangle ones. I'm taking the biggest one. This would be a four by six size for a photo, something like that. And it's gonna do the exact same thing as the squares. It's gonna give me two cutouts. So this is on the charcoal paper. It also gives you a nice 
square if you actually wanted to use this as a background like mm -hmm. take something and use it yeah that'd be cool but this is the charcoal i did it on the dark side versus the light but as you once again can see the stitching all the way around it and same with this one so you now you've got this really cool frame that you can put on the edges of your photo or once again you could do the quilting pattern with solid colors which would also be really cool mm -hmm. to use and i think this would be great if you're doing um a vintage album mm -hmm. of old photos i think the quilting around photos would really, really complement cool, yeah. them yeah. and i mean you could even glue it together just like this because that looks cool mm -hmm. as well. And then, let's see. And that actually fits right in there too. So you could, you know, you could play with them. It gives it a really cool look. And I know, I mean, I love to sew. Like, this isn't just for quilters and stuff like that. This is also, you know. We did the um, one technique a while back with the piercing tool and making your own stitch pattern mm -hmm. with the, the, um, the stitch, the ruler. Yes. So... This is just a way that Close to My Heart has brought in a few new things that actually makes it easier so you don't have to sit there and poke holes. <laughs> so this is the triangles and then the squares, or excuse me, triangles, <laughs> rectangles. I don't know my shapes. I need to go back to <laughs> elementary school. Um, these are the rectangles and the um, squares that are really good for, I mean, any really photo type of anything. I'm kind of excited. I'm really excited now for this throw yes. together Thursday. I it's can't wait be... to do a page. And yeah, quilt it, so quilt we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go from a card to a page layout for this throw together Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, but even if you take something like we did the last few weeks, if you take this and you cut this out with a stitch, how cool would that look to have that stitched around it? Mm -hmm. Or even take this, use the square like I said but cut it out, so now you've got a frame with a cut through it. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. Okay. I really like this one, so. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's pounding a little bit. Oh, that would be cool, too. You could do it, Let's do it. Okay. You can I, always recreate that. I know I can. I just did a really good job on this one. <laughs> Not to pat myself on the back, but I'm patting myself on the back. Pat me on the back. Okay, thank you. But just to give you another idea, because I know we showed you an older design that looked more like a quilt. Mm -hmm. So this is just to show you something a little bit different. And then you can put this on a layout. Actually, it looks really cool. You could even put it inside. Yeah, that would be cool. Or in a flip-flap. Mm -hmm. But look, so you've got all these different designs now that you can use. But even if you took the old other one with the, the sprinkling of the um, spritz cleaner on it too, it would just all be cool. So just showing you that all of our techniques can be used together and put together. So those are our stitched rectangles and squares. So we'll come back next week with our other ones, these stitched quilt shapes. So we'll show you how to use this with these together. Yeah. And that's Technic Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about our stitched squares or rectangles, let us know. She's the expert in them because she's been seeing all the ideas. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of ideas with them coming at you. Oh, yeah. Um, I think the awesome. page on Thursday is going to be really pretty. And mm -hmm. especially adding in next week's the stitched shapes is going to be awesome. Yes. So to stay tuned for next Tuesday and we will be in Disney. So um, if you guys have any questions, let us know, but we will hoping to uh, be recording a few of our techniques from down there. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Do you want to buy a duck? Do you want to buy a duck? No, I don't want to buy a duck. Do you want to buy a duck? Do you want to buy a duck? Do you want to buy a duck? A what? A duck. A, a duck. duck. Does it quack? Of course. My arm's getting tired. Hurry up. Oh. And we are here with Technique Tuesday number 86 or 87. That looks really cool. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I did not say Alexa. <laughs>
Alexa, go to sleep. <laughs> wow, you're really bad at this. Is it, does it duck quack? It's a hey. quacky thing. <laughs>